are people who are absolutely overpowered by demons running the U.S. government. This is crazy, dude. And, and this is something that people have been like speculating and throwing conspiracy theories around for the longest time. And after what I'm about to show you right now, I'm not so sure that they're the crazy ones. Let me let me break this down for you. So first, let me explain the significance of politics and spirituality all throughout the Bible. When you look at through uh, ancient scriptures and the ancient Israelites, this is what God actually told his people. He said, do not worship the foreign gods of the neighboring nations. Don't give in to their practices. And here's what's amazing is all through antiquity in the ancient East, even in really anywhere in the world, there wasn't a separation between quote unquote church and state or religion and politics. Worship was at the foundation of everything that was happening in those cultures. And you oftentimes had kings and rulers actually lead the nation into a certain direction of worship. This is exactly why God was very clear to the kings who were leading Israel. Do not lead your people astray. Do not give yourself over to worshiping these false gods or really these demonic entities. You know, you'd think that it's just like worshiping a statue or whatever, but really there's a spiritual implication behind all of that idol worship. And wherever the king went, that's exactly where the nation went. Now, we in the 21st century, we're way more sophisticated than those people back then. We, we don't need religion. We don't need spirituality. We have science. We, we only operate by what we can sense with our, our physical senses. All that stuff, that's just archaic. That's, that's for barbarians. But here's what the Bible says. First of all, the Bible says that there's nothing new underneath the sun, which means that we're really committing the same problems that have been happening for hundreds and thousands of years. But what I'm about to show you right now makes this very, very interesting. I'm going to show you a couple of videos. Okay, here's the first video I want to share with you. This was at the DNC this past week, the Democratic National Convention. And here's Nancy Pelosi. You might remember her as being the former Speaker of the House. And listen to what she says in this clip in regards to the political races for those in the congressional seats. Listen, this is... This is just bizarre. Check it out. I, I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We, were, we know our, we're different from the presidential. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Others are winning the whole country. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> what? Bro. Bro. I, I didn't say it. She said it. I didn't say it. She said it. Well, you have like you got all these crazy conspiracy theories, maybe not so much on YouTube because YouTube probably tries to push those things down. You go on X, you go on Rumble, you see all these things about like reptilian people in the in the places of a uh, high office in Washington, D.C. It's like, OK, now, come on, like this is getting kind of goofy. But when you have this, the former speaker of the House making comments like this. Listen to what she said again. They didn't know what they were talking about. We would, we know our, we're different from the president. We're very. And look at her eyes too. Just want like, look at her eyes when she's saying this. President, we're very discreet, reptilian, cold blooded. These are the races we have to win. Others are winning the whole country. <laughs> 10. I, I mean, I just, I'm just, look, yo, like, let's just call a spade a spade here. If we are very comfortable with acknowledging, yes, there's absolutely spiritual warfare happening across the land. You have, you have industries like the entertainment industry where people have been very open about satanic practices happening behind closed doors. You see all sorts of crazy indecency and immorality being pushed through the education system. It's just mainstream. Why would it be why would it be surprising to us to see something similar happen in high offices? Let alone the pra the pattern that we see all throughout the Bible of you go read 1 Kings, 2 Kings, go read 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles. Go read it. Go read the book of Judges. It's like all throughout ancient Israel history, God is telling his people, "Do not give in to these 
pagan worship practices. Stop, don't worship the same gods, really the same demonic entities that our people are wash, are worshiping. And because we've driven Jesus Christ out of every segment of society, why would this surprise us? I'm just saying, man, like this, this stuff, like I think it's probably more real than a lot of people want to admit because the spiritual realm is more real than what we see in the physical realm. I'm going to give you, I got some more crazy stuff to show you guys. Let me give you an example of why I think this is so, uh, this is so real. Like we need to understand what's happening here at the DNC, at the Democratic National Convention. Look at my screen here. Planned Parenthood offered free baby deletions and vasectomies at the DNC. What did Planned Parenthood then say after that on their own Twitter account? Here we come, Chicago. Our mobile health clinic, this really should have said mobile death clinic, will be in the West Loop with Chicago Baby Deletion Fund and the Wiener Circle. Crazy name. Uh, we won't go into that. August 19th through 20th, providing free vasectomies and medication baby deletion. EC will also be available for free without an appointment. Do you understand? Like, do you see that when you as a political party are opening up this type of opportunity for people to literally come and murder their baby while they're at this political political convention, making sacrifices, spiritual sacrifices to the false god of Moloch, the demon of Moloch, why would we be surprised? Why like Here's what's so crazy is the, the separation of church and state only applies for Christianity. It's like, let's keep God, let's keep the name of Jesus out of everything in regards to politics, but everything else we'll, we'll just kind of let it fly. And we, we won't, we won't make a comment about it being spiritual or whatever, but this is exactly what's happening. We are allowing ourselves to open, open ourselves to these practices. I'll give you another video here, which is very interesting to me. Did you see that there was this giant monkey demon statue that's, that's being erected in Texas right now? It's a, it's a, I believe it's a Hindu God. And I'm not, I'm not trying to say these things to be flamboyant. I'm saying these things because from a biblical perspective, they are absolutely demonic. These idols bring, bring about demonic entities within the nation that they're being erected and worshiped. So, but look at what, look at what Obama says here. That uh, a woman gave me. The, the reason, the statue of the, the lowercase g god Hanuman. If I feel tired or I feel discouraged sometimes, uh, I can kind of reach into my pocket and I say, yeah, that's something, uh, you know, that's something I can overcome because somebody uh, gave me this privilege to work on these issues that are going to affect them I, I better get back to work and then this whoever made this video throws super white thor looking jesus which this is, is kind of a uh, hindu little statuette of uh, the monkey god hanuman that uh, a woman i'm just saying man i'm just i'm just connecting the dots and i'm letting you know regardless like the evidence to me is like in plain sight. And from a biblical perspective as a pastor, I'm just going to tell you that stuff, you cannot worship that stuff. You cannot entertain that stuff. I'm not worshiping. I'm just carrying around a little monkey statue in my pocket. These things are tied to worship of demonic entities. And when we honor these things, we are actually opening up the door for demonic influence in these places of power in our country. All right. I'm going to show you a couple more things here. Let me show you. I'm going to save this one for later. This is this is nuts. This is where it gets really freaky, guys. So this guy, Chuck Schumer, has been a senator for a really long time. But look at what happens when he's about to take his seat here. Do you, do you see what's happening? There's an empty seat. He looks into this empty seat and he points at the seat and he he tells whatever's sitting in that seat to get out of that seat. Someone makes the comment, watch as Chuck Schumer tells a demon to move out of his chair. Bro. Bro, this is nuts, man. This is nuts. I think what's crazy is we want to just be like, oh, this is perfectly normal behavior. Like, it's perfectly normal for our elected officials to be doing this sort of stuff. Guys, 
We, <laughs> when will we get it through our heads? Everything that we're experiencing in this life is spiritual first. It's spiritual first. Spirituality isn't just something that you add on to your physical existence. Our physical existence is a manifestation of a reality that's happening in the spiritual realm first. Everywhere, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, this is the things that we're seeing right now happen before our eyes are deeply, deeply spiritual. Watch this one more time. Yo, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that's not sus. The dude just pointed to his chair and told whatever whatever was sitting in it to get on out. All right, can I give you guys some hope, though? You might be looking at this and you're like, oh, my gosh, Cap. Okay, so great. The people in our highest places of office in our country have given themselves over to demonic influence. What does that mean for us? Well, let me tell you, here's the good news. The power of God is still available for you today. I want to share with you. This is my friend, Marcus Rogers. He pastors a church in Chicago where the DNC happened. And this is where things get really interesting. I want you to, I want you to know this. God is on the move, man. God is on the move. When the world gets darker, just know that it's a greater opportunity for the light to shine. Look at this revival that's happening in Chicago right now in the midst of all the darkness with the DNC that just occurred. There's people taking the streets and worshiping Jesus. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. God is not done. God is not done with this country. God is not done with with the people that are giving themselves over and giving our land over to this idol worship. He's not done, man. God is merciful. But his wick of mercy, it it has a shelf life, y'all. Jesus is coming back at some point to judge the earth. And uh, in the meantime, you got people who are doing the work of helping advance the kingdom. This is good news. Amazing. Come on, he's gonna have his way in Chicago. Lift his name. Jesus is sure. I love to see it. I love to see it. Let's look at my man just preaching right now. my guy that's my guy right there yo yo i'm encouraged man you know what i say you know what i say to the enemy bring it on the devil is underneath our feet as followers of jesus christ and not the other way around i'm not saying that we get we get casual about this thing but what i am saying is we got to operate from a place of victory not for victory from victory the victory is already ours in christ jesus we have all authority in heaven by the name of jesus the blood of jesus and the power of the holy spirit but my question to you is what are you doing with that authority are you using that that authority to preach the word of god to people close to you are you using that authority to pray to pray for your city, to pray for your neighbors to pray for this country are you using that authority to lay hands on the sick and see people sick 
come back into healing, to see people who are bound and delivered? Are you, are you using the weapons of your warfare to advance the kingdom of God? Because here's the promise that Jesus gave us. The gates of hell will not prevail against us. Guys, I'm in a place right now. I don't care what the world thinks. I'm foolish, man. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, right? It's the stench of death to those people, but it is the aroma of life to those who are being saved. And I'm telling you, we need to, we need to come back to a place of fear of the Lord and a reverence and an understanding of the spiritual war that we're in right now and the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. Can I get an amen from somebody in the comments right now? Praise God. Praise God. Wild times. Let me know what you think in the comments though. And Hey, if you're in a place where you're watching this and you're like, okay, you got my attention, Cap. Bizarre things happening. How do I get right with God? I have another video at the end of this one that I need you to watch to know how you can get in right standing relationship with God. Avoid hell for the rest of eternity and spend eternity in heaven with God and all of God's people. Go check out my Bible study playlist as well if you want to learn more about the Word of God. Subscribe if you're interested in the content, if you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.